Okay, um, obviously I'm going to reveal to you today that I left the show. Um, there was many reasons why I left the show and I think let's start off with the, the lack of transparency, the fact that uh, there was conversations had of what my preferences were. I went told all the way through the process I would like a guy. It's a guy that it's, this is the only way I'm going to fall in love easier, it's with a guy. It has to be an extraordinary woman that is, has a masculine energy that I can like. I also said that I didn't want anyone that smoked that had a, a good job, had a real job and lived in their own house, etc. These were the no deal breakers and I asked for them but all of them were broken straight away. The person called me um, on the phone and she went, Nathaniel, we found your match. And in my head I'm like, you matched me with someone that was already in the process a long time ago. You were finding someone for him. I was found for him. So now you found someone for me, I felt really sort of suspicious. Then she goes, it's, it's a lovely girl, but we need to tell you something. She's trans. I says, I can't do this. It's, this is not me. She said, have a think about it. I said, for about three weeks, it was, or three, maybe two and a half weeks, so it was a no, no, no. At this point, I've already lost my work contract because I was expecting to be on the show. So I couldn't go back. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, what do I do? Do I do this? She, so they, she calls me back up and she says, Nathaniel, you're ruining this girl's chance to tell her story. And sort of puts me on the back foot, the fact that I was like, okay, I can be here to sort of shine for the LGBT community and maybe I could fall in love with that. They were saying she's lovely, you'd get on, but then it followed up with a comment, but you're not like the rest of them. Like it's, you know what I mean, you just, just can have a good time and get on with the show. You'll be the stars of the show. And I went, this is not really what I want. I want to fall, like I want to be in love with someone. I wanted to be tested. I wanted to find out about myself. After this, after the conversation on the phone and and being told oh, it doesn't, doesn't matter about, like, you're not in it for that. It, it sort of set me back and I realised this process is not what I've signed up for, it's kind of fake. But it was too late at the time, I was halfway, one foot in, and now I felt like I was going to take away from this trans person's journey, which I thought was going to be so different from most other people's trans journeys. So I just realised that I can't do this anymore. It was, I looked at Ella and I realized that the show was creating a monster and I wasn't here for bad representation, but they knew that, that they were never gonna give her the bad edict um, because of many things that actually happened throughout the show. So I knew it was time to leave um, and take myself out of there because my mental health was deteriorating. I spoke to like th all three of the psychs, two of them basically said to me, we just don't know what to say. We don't know how to help you. I think production knew they needed to get me out of their ASAP because I was ready to, to tear the building down of, with the truth and the lies and the way they were treating other, uh, other, the, other contributors. It was just, it was, a, it's dark.